you can become one of the three percent. I guarantee you, you can earn a lot of money. I think earning money is one of the simplest things I've ever learned. And it's one of the most misunderstood things. If this worked for me, it would work for anybody. I want you to think about your life. And I want you to think about your income. I want you to think about money. Money subject that is a subject that not a lot of people want to talk about. And when you do talk about it, a lot of people get defensive. They say, well, money's not everything. Well, that's sort of a ridiculous statement. Of course it's not everything. But money's important. It's very important. I frequently ask the person if they come to work with me, what's the most you've ever earned in a year? I really don't care what the answer is, but I want to know what the answer is. Because when they tell me the answer, what they're doing is telling me where their mind is programmed with respect to money. See, our mind is programmed. You're working with a program, I'm working with a program. Now, most people are working with a program that someone else built. They are the production of somebody else's habitual way of thinking. I'm going to suggest that you can rewrite the program. The problems that you're facing, maybe the lack of money, or the loved ones telling you you're crazy, you're wasting your time, get a job. What do you do? If you've already got it, it's really good to hear it again. If you haven't got it, you're going to love it. It's really about how to create all you want. You have to have multiple sources of income. You can go back to the ancient Babylonians, as far back in ancient history as you can go, and you're going to find that the wealthy people all had multiple sources of income. 3% of our population are earning 97% of all the money that's being earned. And everybody says that's unfair. Well, it's based on a law. That's really what it's based on. Our income is the harvest of our production. That's really what it is. But 3%. Some of those 3% are not very well educated insofar as we look at education. Some of them are functionally illiterate. They can neither read nor write. Now, some of them are absolutely brilliant. But you're going to find people that are absolutely brilliant that fall into the 97% category that have to split up 3% of the money that's earned. Why and how does this happen? My income went from 4000 to 175000 in a year. And it was based on the concept that I want to explain to you here. But what we have to understand is that the earning of money is something that doesn't happen by accident. Wealthy people historically have always had multiple sources of income. This isn't an accident. It's by design. You can design this. There is an absolute law governs compensation. We know that there's a law. If I let this go, you know it's going to fall. If I let this go, it's going to fall. It's not going to go up. It has to go down. It has to go down. That is an absolute law. It's called the law of gravity. That's a law of the world. The law of compensation is a law. And it's very exact. I want you to really pay attention to it. Because this law clearly states that the amount of money you earn is in direct ratio. It's in exact ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing it. You see, in my particular business, there's the opportunity to earn millions of dollars, and I have earned millions of dollars. Not because I'm smarter than the next guy, and it's not because I'm lucky. It's because I find myself in a field where there's a tremendous need for what I do. When you find a tremendous need, and then you develop your ability to fill it, you've got to become very, very good at filling the need. Take a bucket of water and put your hand in up to the wrist. When you pull it up, the hole that remains is just how much you'll be missed. You can stir all you want as you enter. Stir up the water galore. But stop and you're going to find a no plan. No time. It's much the same as before. Well, what they were getting across is there's no such thing as an indispensable person. But some people are very difficult to replace. And if you make up your mind you're going to get really good at this, you just want to focus on your ability to improve. Become a master at whatever you're doing. Now, this is the focus. The money is the reward. This is the cause. The money is the effect. Take care of the cause. The effect will always take care of itself. Think of Elvis Presley. His estate is still earning money from records of his that are being played on the radio. And those recordings are being played on the radio. And every time they're played, 
money goes into his estate. That's called a passive income. That's called a source of income. Well, you can start sources of income. You can start them all over the world. You may say, well, how? Well, you don't have to know how. You just have to make a decision that you're going to do it. The how will come. Don't let the how trip you. And once you get one going, then you get another one. See, I believe you can set up sources of income that are very closely attached to what you're already doing. You may say, well, I don't know how to do this. Well, of course you don't. Not to start with. I didn't know how to do it when I started. I didn't even know how to read very well when I started. I hadn't gone to school. I had two months high school. I had no business experience. How did I start? I'll tell you exactly how I started. I borrowed $1,000. I bought a used form machine and some buckets and mops. I started in the cleaning business. And I started by cleaning one office, washing the floor twice a month, $15 a time. Then I got another office at 65 a month. Now I'm up to 95. I was only earning 400 a month to start with. But you know, one day I passed out on the street. I thought the answer was work harder, get another office to clean. But it didn't work that way. I was exhausted. I thought the answer was work harder. That is not the answer. I realized it was like something inside me said, Bob, you're doing something wrong. And then another little voice said, if you can't clean all of them, don't clean any of them. Do you know over the next five years, I was cleaning offices in Toronto, Montreal, Boston, Cleveland, Atlanta, London, England. And the income was just rolling in from all over the place. Now, I'm not telling you to go clean offices. I'm telling you that I stumbled on something. It took me 10 years to find out what I was doing different. I had set up multiple sources of income. Now, as you set these up, You'll be asking, well, are they all the same size? Do you earn the same on all of them? No, some of them won't even work. Some of them will die on you. There's so many ways of doing it. You could become a network marketer. You could become an online marketer. You could become an affiliate marketer. See, you want to make a decision that you are going to set up multiple sources of income. You don't have to know how. When you make the decision, you will start to attract how you're going to do it. Some of them will grow and some of them will die. But you know something? They all have one thing in common. They all flow into your bank. Some will be big and some will be small. It's absolutely phenomenal how this works. It all flows into your bank. Great idea. Just an absolutely beautiful idea. That's right. That's where it happens. Now that's an affirmation I've been using for a long, long time. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. You keep repeating a positive statement. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Now, we start out by saying only 3% of the people earn 97% of all the money. So the odds of your kids growing up to learn how to earn money is pretty slim. If you don't teach them, they probably won't get it because they're not going to get it in school. School does not teach us how to earn money. There's no place they say, well, that's absurd. You go to work to earn money. No, you don't. That's not a good idea. You think you provide service to earn money. You can earn more money when you're sleeping than you can spend when you're awake once you get good at this. Now, we all get the same amount of time. We get all there is. So it's what we do with our time that's really going to make the difference. 3% of the population are following this strategy. It's where you invest money to earn money. What do they do this different? They set up multiple sources of income. They multiply their time by setting up multiple sources of income. Now, if you really want to win in a big way, that's how you're going to do it. It's so basic and so simple. Well, you can learn more about it, but you want to study it. You want to study it. Money, multiple sources of income. MSIs. There's no end to what you can do. There's absolutely no end to what you can do. But you've got to decide what you're going to do. Sit down and write out how you want to live. And it doesn't matter what it costs. You write it down and then you only think of how to do it. And you set up multiple sources. Now, let's suppose you have never touched a computer in your life and you're going to learn how to use the computer, how to work with it. It's going to take you a while. And the strange thing about computers, when you learn something, it leads you into learning something else, and then you learn something else. It's sort of like an evolution that takes place in your mind as you start working. At least that's the way I found it, and most of the people I know. When I first started, I didn't even know how to turn it on. But when you make up your mind that you're going to earn yourself a specific amount of money every year, and you might set that magic million. Anybody can learn how to earn a million. 
I believe I could teach anybody how to do that. But you've got to decide you're going to do it. And if you don't decide you're going to do it, the odds of it happening are pretty slim. Now, is it going to happen overnight? No, nothing happens overnight like that. But over a period of time, let's say over six months, you're going to learn how to master this thing. You're going to learn how to set up MSIs. And after you learn how to do it, then you're going to start to learn how to multiply.